Okay, can everybody hear me? Yes! yes. All right. Should we get this started? Yeah, we should. Yeah. Hey, before we get started, I just want to, from Christy and I, we want to thank all of you for being here, friends and uh, neighbors, uh, new friends, old friends. Um, thank you very much for uh, spending some time with us here this Saturday before we take off to Florida. And we're so happy to see you all. So thank you very much. And we have an open door policy. Anybody who wants to come visit, come visit. However, yeah. <laughs> like family, friends, and fish, they all stink after three days. <laughs> Make your uh, plane tickets accordingly. Can we come? Can we come when you're not there? Yes. Sure. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, like uh, Scott said, good afternoon, and uh, thank everybody for coming to Christy and Scott's celebration. Woo! Everybody here is friends, family. They've been invited here because you're special to Scott and Christy, either individually or together, or either that or you owe them money and they need to collect before you go to Florida. <laughs> I don't know. Right. We're even. We are. <laughs> Me and you. Done. Okay. Thanks, Al, for the money. <laughs> Use it well. All right, we know how deeply these two care for each other. And like I say, I'm proud that they asked me to do this. And uh, it means a lot well, I on both ends to, to witness this commitment of love for one another. <laughs> and um, I want to say the ro most remarkable thing in life is when you meet that someone, that some person that you feel you feel more complete together than alone. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Scott, Christy, they do a lot of things together. Kayaking, hiking, biking, alone, no, together, more special. Whatever you do, you know. Uh, the person that makes you feel complete and lets you shine inside when you're together. Uh, this happened to me a number of years ago when I met my wife, Kathy. I'm Al, if you don't know people that I've never met before. <laughs> My wife, Kathy, over here. Al's first wedding. Second? Second wedding? Yeah. He said he'd come the numerous times. <laughs> uh, we, he we just met, got this thing off a Cheerio box. <laughs> we met around uh, around eight years ago, and we got, to, got, got married three year, years ago in Galena. Oh. And uh, she's my everything. And together, like I say, together we shine. We're better together than alone. We love Kathy. Yeah. We do love Kathy. So I found a solid relationship requires a deep, great deal of compromise, give and take, give and take, take and give, and hopefully in the end, the scales, they even out and everything works out. And uh, for me, I go shoe shopping with Kathy. I don't want to, but she lets me play poker. So I go shoe shopping and she lets me play poker and it all works out. It balances out somewhere. And there was an old show on TV. Oh, I don't know, the 50s or 60s. The Honeymooners? Yeah. And uh, night after night, Ralph Cramden, he promised he was going to sock his wife to the moon. Straight to the moon, Alice. Remember that? Well, he never did. Alice stood up to him. They found compromise. They got along. And it all worked out. The marriage is a lot of work. At the end of the day, you have someone to come home to. Someone to promise to love for life, be by your side, cry with you, laugh with you, leave footprints in the sand, all the above. And in the time we've gotten to know each other, you guys, me and Kathy, you made us smile. We've had a lot of fun. You know, did a lot of things together. And uh, a 
strong marriage will be built on a foundation of love and trust. You'll need to depend on that time after time. There will be fights. There will be good times, bad times. You'll be acting more patient than you were single as together. Higher highs, lower lows, and you'll be stronger together as one. And with that, I don't have anything more to add unless somebody else would like to say something. Tina? I deeply love Christy, but I don't want to come here and a little louder. <laughs> I deeply love Christy, but I will let her marry a man. <laughs> and with that, let's get to the legal stuff. Okay, Scott. Yes. Do you take Christy to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. To love and comfort her, for better or for worse, for sickness and health, for as long as you both shall live. Christy. Scott, your lawfully wedded husband. I do. For better or for worse, in sickness and in health, for as long as you both still live. I do. Do we have rings? We do. We okay. Do. Present the rings, please. Scott, you have Christmas ring? Okay. Repeat after me, Scott. I give you this ring as a symbol that I will love you and cherish you and honor you. I give this ring as a symbol, as a symbol that I will love you and cherish you and honor you. And I promise to rub your tired feet whenever you ask me to. I promise to rub your tired feet whenever you need to. Or scratch your back. Okay. It's a back scratch. I need to get out. She's like, go ahead. Christy, repeat after me, nice and loud. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol that I will love you and honor you. As a symbol that I will love you and honor and you. And cherish you. And cherish you. And keep cold beer in the fridge at all times. And keep cold <laughs> beer in the fridge at all times. There we go. Nice place to win. By the power vested in me in the state of Illinois, I pronounce man and wife. Mr. Mr. Mr.